In the age of e-reading, technology has created a new set of challenges for the modern library. As CBS's Meg Oliver shows us, libraries across the country now are paving the way of innovation. Take a guess where this is. Shop class? Guess again. Uh, low risotto. The kitchen in a fancy five-star restaurant. Yeah, he's sticking now. Hmm, not quite. If you're in Columbia, South Carolina, you're in the Richland Public Library, a national leader in reimagining libraries' place in our communities, where card catalogs now hold gardening seeds. So what's in here? This is our library of things, and you can check out just about anything. So what do you have? We've got a little bit of everything. We got a ukulele for the music lover. Games and toys like a kite. Executive Director Melanie Huggins has pioneered this extraordinary evolution. We have always been in the business of making people's lives better. I think that is the history of public libraries across the globe. That history dates back to 1895 and the founding of Columbia's first library branch. But an economic ebb and flow combined with advancements in technology led Huggins and her team to write a new chapter for a community in need. We think of our spaces as places to learn, to share, to create, and we create quiet spaces and let the rest of the library just be vibrant and active. Here, job seekers can lean on career counselors, social workers help the homeless, and people suffering from food insecurity. Education is also a top priority. I didn't know our libraries contribute to us getting our education. You know, I just thought you'd come in here and get a book. Now people like Latita Miller can take free online classes and earn a high school diploma. The 40-year-old single mom of four dropped out of high school after having her first baby at 14. How rough was that? It was very, very difficult because I had to grow up early, had to learn more responsibility at that age. After years of struggling and working multiple jobs, she went back to high school through the library's program in 2022. I wouldn't have never known about it if I had not came through here and found out about my high school diploma. Developing innovative ways to stay relevant is now a national trend for American libraries. In Salt Lake City, the library has a sound booth where people can record their own albums. In Chicago, vending machines are stocked with free supplies from hygiene kits to Narcan. There's nobody else doing this work. Groundbreaking work, improving lives like Latita's. This spring, she proudly accepted her high school diploma. You can accomplish so many things here. And so will many others, thanks to rethinking a cultural institution to better seed their futures by giving them all the tools they need. Squeeze it, squeeze it. For I in America, I'm Meg Oliver in Columbia, South Carolina.